Welcome back. You can honor the sacrifice of first responders on 9-11 with an emotional event at TQL Stadium. The Cincinnati Memorial Stair Climb hosted by Cintas is this coming Saturday and Heather Lawson from Cintas is here to tell us about it. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for coming in and, yeah, and talking about this important event. We were just chatting a little bit about uh, how you were got to be a part of it last year so you know firsthand kind of the importance of it, how emotional it is and I want to really start by asking you how what the stair climb represents um, to, to people and since you were there last year what, what was the, the, the overall feeling? Why, why do you think people take part in this? Yeah, the stair climb is such a cool event because you get to honor the 343 fallen firefighters that died on 9-11. And what it is, is you'll go there, you'll climb, you can walk or observe, and everyone that registers gets to support their own firefighter. So when I'm done climbing, I'll go up and ring that bell and pay tribute to, uh, I have Robert Hamilton. So it's really cool um, you're there respecting those firefighters and you're out there for a good cause and the proceeds go to the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation. I had heard about this before but I had never I have never known that piece yeah. where you have you're literally carrying a person with you yeah and you're walking for them that's it's very that cool. makes it so personal and so important um, what was it like for you to be part of the event and what do you see uh, when people are there I mean I'm sure it's a very emotional thing are people that are there connected in any way to people that were, were lost in 9-11 or do people come out you know that just remember the day and want to remember those people or is it kind of mix of both? It's a little bit of both so we actually do have family members of some that have died at 9-11 that come to attend our stair climb and then we have the fire chief will be there as well and then we have some other um, firefighters that come and then we sent packets out to different fire stations across the across the tri-state area and so if they want to support they'll be there as well. Yeah we're um, seeing some video uh, from one of the past years there. Yeah. So when people register, first of all, where can they, can they still register? Is it still open? Yeah, you can still register. So you can go to cincystairclimb.com and you can register at the site, on site at the event. Um, registration starts at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Yep. And then what, what is it like on that day when people come in, they register and, and they're walking the stairs, kind of like how long does it take people or does it vary per, per person? Yeah, it'll vary per person. So we'll, we'll kick it off and we'll start, but it's not a race. That's what we tell everybody. Um, we're not there. To, to get the number one and be first. Um, it's really there to tri pay tribute and homage to those firefighters. So it'll take about an hour, I would say, an hour and a half, depending on how fast you are. Um, and then the walking, you can go at your own pace as well. We have people that bring strollers, take their kids as well. So it's a family event for everyone. They're really family friendly. And quickly before I let you go, if, um, if somebody can't make it on Saturday, is there another way that they can support or donate? Yeah, absolutely. They can donate at cincystairclimb.com. And again, and that'll go to the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation and it'll support the families of fallen firefighters. Wonderful. Well, thank you, uh, Cintas, for being involved yeah. and supporting that every year. I'm sure it's very appreciated and it's always such a remarkable event. Yeah. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.